good morning. So this guy has dried overnight and we are ready to do the final touch-ups. He's a lot less gooey this morning, still a little bit gooey, but not as gooey as he was yesterday so we can actually shape things. I have my trusty sidekick, Muriel, today. You heard her in the background of all the other videos probably. <laughs> um, I figured it might be easier to just have her in the wrap while I do this instead of trying to bounce her and, and you know do all the behind the scenes that I was doing in all the other videos but uh, I'll get a close-up here for you and I'll let you guys see how I finished setting my eyes um, I already had a look at him when he was upside down my lips are nicely tucked but this is where you want to come in and um, basically check everything make sure nothing's pulling away make sure everything is setting nice if you have to retuck something go ahead and retuck it check your ears make sure that they're setting nice um, make sure that the ear direction and everything is where you want it um, basically anything check your antler burrs anything that might have changed overnight you want to just check make sure it's all looking good check your hair pattern because this is your last chance to uh, do any minor adjustments so this is the tool I like to use it's just a tiny little spatula type um, putty tool um, you guys could see that our eyes already got the good like the rough shape of what we wanted It's pretty paired up with the other eye. It's a lot less gooey, but still definitely uh, Movable today so I can come in here and I can smooth things out I can come in and check our tear duct make sure everything in there is tucked away nicely um, There's a little pin there. I'm gonna push in further and so this is this is kind of where I'm just gonna come in and check everything that actually shouldn't be a line there. He's got a bit of a scar right here, so that kind of is making a bit of an interesting line. But I'm just going to come in and I'm going to just make sure that my eyelids are tucked nicely. And I'm showing just a little bit of white at the backs of both of these eyes um, just to add a little bit of spice. Spice. Just to add a little bit of character because he's alert looking. So I'm just going to come in and see how it actually will hold its shape now. And I'm going to create that little ridge that um, you see on a live deer. And this is where if you guys like have reference photos, um, this is when you want to use them. This is where reference photos will just do everything for you. They will just make, reference photos will just make a world of a difference in uh, making sure this looks good. So I'm just going to come in here and just smooth this out. And I'm just just adding those finishing touches on here. Once I think I've got him, making sure that that eyelid is pressed up against his eye so we don't have too much of a gap here. It's actually still pretty wet this morning. So I might come back in and check him again later um, when he's even more dry. But that's kind of what you want to do at this point now. You're just going to come back, you're going to check them, make sure that nothing's bubbling up, um, make sure everything's drying where you want it to dry. Now I can come in here and put a crease where his natural eyelid is. And you can see that just adds that extra lifelike eye. He has a lot of eyelid skin actually. So you want those eyelashes to come down over the eye and that's that's pretty much what we're going to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and check this from the front. So this is the finished look at this point. We're gonna come back and do the finishing work in about two weeks. I'm gonna keep coming back and checking on this guy as he dries, but this is uh, what we're looking at. I just tucked the lips a little bit more, got both of the eyes to where I want them. Um, I'm gonna, like I say, as he dries, it's gonna shrink and pull away from the form a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep coming back and checking the nose, mouth, eyes, ears, um, the skin under the brisket area. That's all stuff that might pull away. I'm gonna flip them upside down to dry for now since I don't need the stand right away for anything else. And then he'll go up on the wall. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I was talking about with the nose when I added the clay. 
um, now that it's not so gooey today, I can come back and this, you can see the center line right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that in. Um, and because we left the little bit of clay that's in there, it should leave a nice little indent. And then uh, that's it. So, and that's really it. I'm just coming in and putting that crease in and that's just gonna add a little bit more of a lifelike nose. They've got that natural little split there. Um, I already came in and just checked my lip line, checked that this is all smooth, and uh, it should be good to dry now for hopefully a couple weeks. But like I say, I'm gonna keep on coming back and checking on it just to make sure that it's all setting nice. And we're done.